Good morning from the ESCRS conference in Vienna, Austria. We're pleased to have again Dr. Farhad Hafezi from Switzerland. Thanks a lot for being with us today. Thank you. I'd like to speak with you this morning about a, a different type of cross-linking treatment which has been evolving for us, which is using cross-linking to treat my, microbial keratitis or infectious keratitis. You and others have done uh, quite a bit of work on this topic, but I understand that there's some new information that you'd like to present. Tell us about that. Yes, we've um, been in tight collaboration with Boris Kneiser from Israel, who has run a very interesting study that is, uh, has just been submitted now. And basically, he has compared two arms in infectious keratitis. One arm is conventional antimicrobial treatments, and the other is antibiotics plus pack cross-linking. And what he has found, and the numbers are quite high, it's 40 eyes in, in one arm, 32 eyes in the combined arm. Uh, what he has found is that the time to healing was substantially faster, significantly faster in the combined procedure arm. In other words, if you add a cross-linking procedure to antibiotics, the corneas with an average ulcer size of more than three millimeters, they healed in seven days as opposed to 12 days in the antibiotics only arm. Well, this is really uh, not supposedly not surprising data, but it's interesting data to, to support the use of cross-linking in treating infectious keratitis. And I'm curious, were these cases um, the more severe cases of, of infectious keratitis? Were they more mild cases, or, or did they run, run a, a, a gamut there? Um, these were intermediate ulcers according to the classification of yeah. the academy. But what makes this interesting is, is two things. Uh, first of all, they all, all were treated in an accelerated protocol, so not for half an hour, but for a few minutes only. And the second issue is, this is still done with the fluence of 5.4 joule as we do in conventional cross-linking. Um, we will go up to 7.2 joule uh, per square centimeter, and even higher in newer protocols to, to increase the efficacy of the method. Do you think that it's possible that Cross-linking may uh, may be proposed as a standalone treatment for infectious keratitis. Do you think that a trial comparing uh, cross-linking alone uh, versus topical antibiotics may be considered uh, instead of cross-linking with antibiotics? This might be the case in very early ulcers, mm -hmm. but I think more realistic would be to shorten the time of antibiotic uh, regimen. So instead of giving antibiotics for two weeks, it might be a few days only. But our multicenter trial is doing exactly this. Antibiotics alone versus cross-linking alone. We have a little more than 20 eyes uh, in the study now and uh, the first results look quite promising. Well, we will look forward to the results of that study when they become available. And again, thank you so much for explaining this very important topic, which is uh, collagen cross-linking in infectious keratitis. Thanks again. Thank you.